Kazooie, do I have to tell you again? Banjo's a nice person, okay? Anyways, hey there guys, I am Sonicus, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Last time, we, uh, got some more things done here in Freeze Easy Peak. We did some things with transformation and such. Now, I can't believe I forgot this. Back in the first episode, we were here. Basically, if you go up this tree, climb all the way up here, after you take care of the little, uh, twinklies, and also you take care of the little thing with the star, you get a jiggy. I forgot about the jiggy, and I just let it sit here for a while. Whoops. Oh well, at least we got it before the end of the world. And I would be, like, struggling. Where the heck is that last gin? Wait, where's that last jiggy? I already got all the gingos. I already got everything else. Alright, I already got all the feathers. But here are all the extra notes we missed. And this should probably give us all 100 notes now, if I'm correct. 7, 98, 99, 100. Yes, it did. You found all 100 notes in this world! Yay. Alright, so now we get out of here. Good. And there's only two more uh, jiggies left. I remember where one is that we can't get, and I know where we get the last one, which is with the present. Let's go take care of that. Now, like I said before, there is one more Jiggy here we can get from a race. But unfortunately, we cannot do the race just yet. We'll still do it in this video, probably, it looks like. But we can't do it until we have a move from a later world. Which is, ironically, the next world. Which is even better. So here, what we have to do is get these presents to these kids. Oh, thank you, Brown Bear! There you go. <laughs> Yippee! Now we got presents! Here's something for you! A Jiggy! Uh, you're giving away a toy for more toys. Hmm. Ironic. Oh well. Well, we get a Jiggy from this anyway, so let's take it. And now, more Mumbo tokens. Alright. Let's get it. Oh my gosh, that was a close up of Banjo's nose. <laughs> so, with that, now let's leave the world for now. And let's take on. A little backtracking task. Well, your best note score for this world is now 100. How many times are you going to hear this from me and actually have sanity? Not enough. Oh, oh wait, I got to introduce these guys. This is a new type of, uh, of enemy. Well, actually more of an enemy slash helper. Come on, talk to me. Touch my honey this time and you'll be sorry. So basically, if you touch him, the bees will now chase you when we get near the honey. Yeah. So, those guys, yeah, they still give you three honeycomb pieces there, but you gotta be more careful with those. So, this note order needs 350 notes. We have enough. We have to open it. There you go. This will unlock the next world for us. We need to go to the next world in order to get the next ability. The last ability, actually. Then we have to head back to Freeze Easy Peak and to get that last jiggy. Yeah, see the backtracking we have to do just for one jiggy. Oh well, but this is for the next world, Gobi's Valley. Let's do this one piece at a time. I decided not after that. Alright, so there you go, Gobi's Valley. Open for business. The music there is really good, in my opinion. It's probably one of the best soundtracks in this game. Although a lot of the music in this game is really good. Rusty Bucket Bay, you know it's a hard level, has really good music. VCC Peak has good music. Treasure Show Cove, some really good music. And also, uh... Uh... Oh crap, I had the world on my head. I had the world right on top of my tongue. But you get the point, there's really good music in this game. Alright. So we're gonna need these waiting boots to get over there to Gobi's Valley. And with these, we're gonna go ahead and travel across sun. My belly's big, it's rather neat. It's years since I've seen my feet. Holy crap, then you're fat. Uh, now because of that stupid glitch, you're gonna run out of time, aren't I? Oh crap! Yeah, I did. <gasps> Only we sand eels can survive in here. Yeah, so basically, you touch the sand, you get hurt. And also, here's another Brent Tilda. We're not gonna talk to you, though. So let's head into Gobi's Valley. We're not going to be here all that long. In fact, we're getting to move and getting right out of here. You'll find one more move in here, Banjo. Very descriptive there, Bottles. Very descriptive. 
So I'm just going to head straight to the move and get out of here as fast as I can. But as you see, Goey's Valley does have really good music. It's so catchy. And yet, the music does change a little bit here a lot. So, it's still good. That's for sure. Alright, here we go. Hi, bottles. Talk to you for the last time. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. And there you go. That's the final move in the game. Well played, Banjo. You now learned all the moves in the game. So that's the last time we ever had to talk to bottles. And with that move unlocked, now we can go ahead and get that last uh, Jiggy and Freeze Easy Peak. So, as I head off now to the world, uh, out of the world, we're not going to do anything here at all until the next episode. I just wanted to get that one move out of the way. So I'm going to meet you guys back where Boggy was. In, uh, you know, for the race in Freeze Easy Peak. Okay, guys, we are back. So now let's take care of this race with Boggy real quick. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, buddy! Oh. Fancy race against Boggy? Oh, oh. Say to accept or be the chicken out. Be bun, please! Now. So here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, buddy. Here's the rules. Run through the red saloon gates and try to beat him to the end, just like last time. And this time, there's a little twist. You get the running shoes. Now what the running shoes do, they make Kazooie run a lot faster. So that's basically the only use they have. But without these shoes, you will not be able to win this race at all. That's why I have to leave the world and come back with these. Alright, there you go. We're in the lead. Hooray! Keep on running, Kazooie. Move faster, Kazooie. Luckily, the path is exactly the same thing as last time. They just kind of change up a very small amount by adding a little bit more flag to certain places and such. And oh my goodness, how'd I survive that? I thought for sure I was going to get knocked in the water. So glad I didn't. Oh man, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Foggy, you are not going to win. I'm winning this. Because I want to get this world done. There you go. Win. I lost again. Take my other medal. I'm out to look for my kid's presents. Well, I already did that for you, buddy. So ha, beat you to it. And with that, is the final jiggy. So there you go. No more worries about this world. So jiggy dance gone. Yeah, I had to sing along. <laughs> Alright, so now with that, let's get out of this world and uh, get the Jiggy now from the Grunty Switch. Because I couldn't get that before. And now that I have the uh, running shoes, we're able to actually get it. So let me just get out of here pretty fast. Beak Bomb, go! You see, this is what's really useful about the Beak Bomb. That just made it so much faster. Alright. And down here. We go. Okay, so the trick to get this jiggy here is it's a time challenge basically, but what you need to do is you need to jump up here, hit a a switch to activate a flying pad, and you need the running shoes to get to it in time. Otherwise, it'll just break on you. So let me just get that mumbo token real quick. And let me just go ahead and do this challenge. Okay, there you go. Now I gotta hurry. Run, Banjo, run! Run like the wind! Run, Banjo! Look at Kazooie's butt, apparently. Good going, camera. Okay, there we go. See, you don't get all that much time at all for that, for both flying, the flying pad, and also your uh, running shoes. I mean, oh man, you don't get enough time for either one of those. But with that, comes the end of this episode, guys. So, let me just get this jiggy real quick. And next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to go ahead and start Gobi's Valley. I'll see you guys next time.